right, and here we are. Back with Automobilista 2. Now this is Azure Coast West Side of the track. This has been getting some pretty good attention since I started playing it. And later on this week, I really wanted to show you guys how to properly install these mods. It doesn't get any easier. If you are familiar with modding a Soto Corsa with the basic drag and drop feature, Automobilista 2 has its own content manager. So if you guys look up AMS2 Content Manager, I believe it's right there in Race Department. Now, obviously I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth about how to properly install it so that you're not skipping over things. Like One of the most important things was when I was downloading these tracks, there's a file called, I think it's called, it's the trees file. So if you don't download that prior, you're gonna have white blobs and trees all over the place that look like they're out of place. And it's just very trippy if you don't have download that first. So I'm gonna create a tutorial on how to do it properly. Definitely one of the most breathtaking maps in the morning. Slash tracks. I didn't mean to call it a map, I promise. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when talking in the forums. Oh yeah, check out this map. No bro, it's a track. This is 100% a track. Absolutely breathtaking though, man. I mean, the details they integrated is just mind-blowing. And then the different elevation changes and actual dips in the track. Here's a big jump. Blows my mind how accurate they can make these tracks to correspond to real life scenarios. What really got me into, you know, really researching how these tracks are made, it's called photogrammetry. And <laughs> Mike Jenkins is actually he introduced this to me and I was actually watching his TikTok live one or it was an Instagram live that he was doing and I was extremely impressed by his DSLR camera his cinematography skills so I just dove even deeper and just like looked what this guy was all about and he was able to go around and he did this live demonstration he went around to a local parking lot and took photographs probably thousands of 8K to 16K resolution pictures um, with his DSLR. Thousands of pictures where it would just get this 3D rendering and he would take it home, put it into a computer, and did this method that I've, I've never heard of before. And I was blown away by some of his work and it's just so incredible to see what... Ah, some of these guys can achieve with DSLRs and photogrammetry methods. It's, it's truly incredible. Like for example, if you, if you were to ride around and go up the coast of California, you could attach, in theory, a couple of DSLR cameras to the back of your car, on the trunk, on the hood, and get all different types of angles, especially the road, but what this does is make sure you don't crash. What this does is it gives you a very accurate reading on how the elevation changes. It has a built-in GPS. It's, it's insane, dude. It'd be something to really look into one day. How they can actually construct these. But, um, one thing I do know is that those files are tremendous. We're talking terabytes. Absolute humongous files. Just for a few pictures. A few thousand pictures. It's mind blowing to me. Hopefully you guys are liking this series. Absolutely love this track. There's so much going on.
definitely getting pretty bumpy. Very bumpy. <laughs> Cadence went way down, going over here by the coast. Oh my gosh, dude, my whole rig is shaking right now. <laughs> it's so freaking bumpy over here. Holy cow. I do really like um, how you can feel every single dip and bump. I'm pretty sure that was obviously on purpose to really show off um, how accurate all of this is. And if you guys haven't played um, AMS2 within the past three months, maybe two months, highly recommend that you guys hop on, update the game, because their new tire model and physics feel great. And a lot of people will argue, oh yeah, well it doesn't feel as good as iRacing. I would argue that it feels pretty much the same now, because I think iRacing feels incredible. I'm, I'm saying that this is right on par with it. There's a lot of things that you can do to really dial in these settings to make it even more um, attractive on the way it feels. This is a really long track, man. guys are having a really good week I know that it's the start of the week I might not be able to actually I know I'm talking this is today it's a Monday but oof. yeah I tried to cut in way too soon there he hit his apex perfect and that that was 100% my fault I'm gonna try to chase along with this guy now yeah I definitely cut in I've never driven this, so please forgive me if this looks like I'm just totally screwing around. I, I kind of am because I've never actually been on this track this far at least. I've only gotten about two minutes in, which is way, way, way north, way at the top. I think we hit the run right here. Yep, there we are. So that will conclude this video. This will be a full race series on YouTube. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, any questions that you guys may have or any future ideas that you guys may have or want to see. And uh, I really appreciate the support. You can hear my voice vibrating because of the bass shakers. <laughs> Wonderful. So I hope you guys have a good night. Have a good morning. Have a good rest of your day. Enjoy yourselves. And until next time.